Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning once again on this Resurrection Sunday. Let's get ready to dive into the lost book of the first book. They got two of them of Adam and Eve. We're going to be on this week, chapter 25. Let's get a quick prayer and we're going to go forward from there. All right. Merciful, kind, just, faithful, and awesome, heavenly, holy Father, we just thank you for another morning, allowing us all that's still in the land of the living to see another day of life amongst the land of the living. For this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad. And Father, we thank you for each and every person that takes time to watch this video. Father, we thank you for each and every person, Father, that have taken time to subscribe, to, to, to like. Father, just show their heart, Father who they are father thank you for each and every person father and i pray you bless each and every person that takes time to even watch the video to comment to subscribe i pray you bless each and every one of them i pray for their families father whatever situation is going on father any health issues any mental issues any emotional issues father i pray father that you will cast your angel out father and cast your spirit Mainly, your, not just your angels, Father, but your spirit, Father, to rest, rule, and abide and guide each and every one of them and all of us, Father, in general. Forgive us for any sins we have committed, Father, whether the heart, the mind, or the body. I pray you illuminate this word as we go forth in the first book of Adam and Eve, chapter 25, Father. I pray everyone have a tremendous day, and I pray everyone have a wonderful week and a victorious day year and month so lord we thank you we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise lastly want to thank you for your compassion we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your amazing grace we thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding and we thank you ultimately for your unconditional love father so we thank you we give you glory we give you honor and we give you praise in jesus name amen amen and amen okay Verse one, y'all. God represented as merciful and loving the establishment of worship. But God knew that Adam had in his thoughts that he should often kill himself and make an offering to him of his blood. So to talk about Adam pretty much being suicidal. So the father knew that's what he's displaying here. Verse two. Therefore, did he say unto him, O Adam. Do not again kill thyself as thou did it by throwing thyself down from that mountain. So Adam committed suicide at one point and the father brought him back. And that's what Eve was grieving. Um, you got to go for those of you who, who are first tuning in to watch this one. You got to go back to the previous videos I did where it goes or this purchase. the You, you can purchase it or you can uh, look it up. The Lost Books. Uh, the first book of Adam and Eve, and it goes into the chapters and it tell you how Adam killed himself. Eve uh, was grieving and everything the father did. So this to bring you up to speed. Going back to verse three now. Right. But God, but Adam said unto God, it was in my mind to put an end to myself at once for having transgressed our commandments and and for my having come coming out of the beautiful garden. And for the bright light of which thou has deprived me and for the praises which poured forth from my mouth without ceasing and for the light that covered me. So Adam was grieved and he committed suicide because he was no longer in the garden Eden. him and his wife. You know, he was now in the, um, in the, 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 um, the mountain of souls. The, the, yeah. That's where the father placed him at at this point. So. Because he wasn't in the natural environment that in which he's accustomed to and in that, in that regard and all the benefits that he had, there were all the fruits, the light, all the glamour, all this stuff that he had, you know, in his spiritual self. And now he's in the natural self. It, it freaked him out. You know, he didn't want to live. He was grieved. You know what I'm saying? Because of his sin that the father held him accountable, even though he was the one that would, you know, Eve was the one that would deceive and then Adam partaked in it. But once again, the father held Adam accountable, not Eve, not saying he didn't deal with her, but he held him accountable because he gave him the commandment as the man, as the leader and everything. So he um, dealt with him accordingly. So Adam was pretty much bothered over that. And that's what called him at one point. Like, you know what? It's over. I don't even want to be here no more. I did this. The father done kicked me out. There's no redemption. But the father brought him back from suicide. 
you know, from killing himself. Okay. Um, verse four, yet of thy goodness, O God, do not away with me altogether, but be favorable to me every time I die and bring me to life. So Adam is saying he's pretty much going to do it again. And for the father to be merciful and to bring back to life. Let's go to uh, verse five and thereby it'll be, it'll be made known that thou art a merciful God who willeth not that one should perish, who loveth not that one should fall fall, excuse me, and who does not condemn anyone cruelly, badly, and by whole destruction, that Adam remained silent. And the word of God came unto him and blessed him and comforted him and co covenant with him that he will save him at the end of the days determined upon him. This went then was the first offering Adam made unto God. And so it became his custom to do so. And the custom was Adam was Adam. He developed the first altar and everything, you know, with his blood and every, you know, it started with him. So because of that, Adam, you know, now he developed a custom to doing that, just giving the father praise and glory and um, building an altar unto him to, to show his respect and honor for the father. OK, so this is now. Hold on. This is not a conclusion of the, the lost book. Of the first book of Adam and Eve, chapter 25, may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his holy word in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 So there you have it. Next week, we'll tune back in again. We'll do chapter 26, Lord willing, if we are still here in the land of the living. Because remember, tomorrow's not promised. That's why we got to make the most of every opportunity as long as it's called today. But I encourage each and every one of you, every, most everyone probably have a Bible, but you got to get the other books that were taken out or weren't included in uh, the Bible to have a better understanding of the Bible we read, you know, because the story of Adam and Eve from the Genesis perspective is great, but it's vague because it doesn't go into other details. You want to know what happened to Adam afterward. It just shows how Adam lives so eight to 900 years. He had kids and he died. It don't go into the details. But this book, like I said, it goes into the details, let you know what what was their response. Everything It's amazing. So pick it up. You can download it or you can uh, get a, a paperback. You know, it's your choice. With that being said, brothers and sisters, have a great day, great week. More content is on the way. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you and your family. Peace.